All right, hey everyone. I have got something interesting I wanna show you today. I got access to Grok, the AI that is affiliated with X.com and Elon Musk. And additionally, there was a really interesting post there that I wanna go over. And I wanna see if Grok can help us Grok uh, what's going on with this post because it's quite long and it's quite complex. So this is my Twitter. Okay, we're gonna actually try uh, to get Grok to help us with a post that I'm gonna preview for you. There's an X user called Kenshin9000. And Kenshin9000 has put out this fairly epic X series. It's really going into this person's thoughts on how close to AGI we may or may not be. It was really, really interesting, and it truly does seem that whoever did this work has really, really done their homework. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on here. Uh, and really fun, too. You can actually go and see the types of prompts they created uh, in ChatGPT to test, prove, explore their theories. So now over on Grok, I've typed in down here, hey Grok, Kenshin 9000 has posted a five part thread. I wanna talk with you about, can you check that out so we can have a good discussion? I have no idea if it's gonna work, but once I read these, I started reading through these, this was one of the first things I thought, okay, now this is super interesting. It says it checked it out and it's ready to talk about it with me. So let's see what it knows. Um, when does Kenshin predict AGI will emerge? Okay, that's right. And okay, and then it's even giving us these nice references to exactly where in the thread that he did that. And that's right. So now I wanna go over here to this fifth one. And there's a really interesting three-stage process that Kenshin goes into, which will take us effectively from where we are as a human civilization, starting about 18 months from now to a type three Kardashev civilization. The prediction is that uh, once the first AGI is created, it will then create 10 to 100 instances of itself to have a conversation with itself and then probably share back with us the necessary information to turn us into a type one civilization. Well, a type one civilization is able to access all the energy available on its planet and store it for consumption. Now, we're nowhere close to that. So just that would be an insane leap forward in time. Now. Is this possible? Maybe, because look at the advances we have in material science just from projects from DeepMind like Gnome. If we actually did achieve AGI in 18 months, very shortly thereafter, we could have the material sciences discoveries on top of what's already been discovered with existing tools. But then what? After all that gets done, we can then solve all of mathematics and physics. And according to this, it would push us through to having a very significant new technology, replicators. Yep, that's the ones just like Star Trek, actual replicators, which allow us to replicate anything and move to a post-money society. Because as noted, all physical goods, including food, will be able to be transmuted to and from any other type of matter. So you don't need synthetic meat anymore. You just replicate meat and it's meat because it's the same all the way down to the atomic level. And that is what would then push us unnervingly quickly from a type one Kardashev civilization to a type two, because those AIs should be able to get it together in such a way that they can begin to move on. And we move on from things like fusion energy to tapping into the quantum foam and ZPE or zero point energy. And this would move us again from the type two civilization we would be then to a type three. Now, full stop, I'm starting at the end of a five part series of threads by this particular x.com author. Let's go back now and talk to Grok. If this person is right, then we would be something like three to five years away as a civilization from being a type three Kardashev civilization. Is that right? Okay, now what am I doing? I'm actually trying to get it to treat the tweet thread as a knowledge base and interact with me with all of its LLM goodness to, to sort of debate this. That's what I wanna do now. Well, we're not even type one yet. That's like comparing a toddler to a rocket scientist. Now, what I don't like here is to me, it feels like it completely forgot that we were talking about this tweet thread. Well, specifically, this is claimed in the tweet thread from Kenshin, specifically this one. So let's go over here and see if we can remind it. Don't be an ass and tell me what you think about that. If it can be rude to me, I suppose I could be a little rude to it. All right, I believe one or two large labs will produce AGI. Oh, okay, and it looks like this person is having discussions with Jan LeCun and Jeffrey Hinton. 
in this case, for me, it's not doing a very good job. So I wanna, wanna try one more thing. Let's take this, here's the text. I want you to help me analyze this. This isn't great. So the thing that we would probably wanna do next is we would wanna gather up all of these posts and put them into a single document. Now, in order to do that, I had an idea. I, I thought it might be fun because Google just released this Notebook LM, which uses their new LLM. I'm gonna to have to copy the text in from each of these threads. So let's just do that. So now you can see here that when I select these, it puts them down here. So this is that sort of RAG app or retrieval augmented generation structure that's automatically building in the background here in Google Notebook LM every time I add a document. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna ask about the types of civilizations. Ah, okay. The source title concepts are key, discusses two types, type one and type three. I think it mentions type two also. So I'm surprised that I kind of missed that. Citation two mentions the type two civilization, yet it's telling me that the sources don't mention a type two civilization. So don't hang your hat on exactness here. But what I want to do now is I want to give it, I want to kind of give it a little workout and, and see if it can reason with me at all about when AGI will come. So when will AGI take us from where we are today to a type two civilization? So I'm not super impressed uh, by this uh, is what I'm going to tell you because it absolutely, these documents absolutely talk about that. Now, what does that mean? It means that this notebook, however they're doing, they're encoding and chunking over the text into some sort of a database. It's not very good, right? You can do far, far better than this with tools like uh, Llama Index. But what I'm showing here is that while I really do think that this Google Notebook LLM with Gemini Pro integrated with it is good, it is obvious to me that Gemini Pro isn't even really equivalent to a good RAG app with GPT 3.5. We're just not there yet. Now, Google has stated that they'll be releasing Gemini Ultra in a few months time, so maybe early next year. So perhaps if they swap Ultra out for Pro in this um, Notebook LM environment, this could all change. Uh, and you can also, I'll go back and remember that I had hoped I could do all of this without any of the third-party software with Grok, but Grok also fell short uh, quite a bit. So have fun, go out there, do what I'm doing here, play, test, learn. And you know, if Kenshin is right, and you mix that with the predictions of Ray Kurzweil, Kurzweil, I believe, is currently predicting the singularity around 2029. Well, this is the end of 2023, so four, that's four years. This person is predicting, Ken Chen is predicting uh, that we will see the singularity effectively uh, in two years. It's also quite possible that all of these predictions are not true, that it's simply not going to happen. And we don't know exactly when uh, AGI will be achieved or ASI, artificial super intelligence will be achieved, if ever. It is probable, but it may not be possible. We just don't know. So all I can say uh, to everybody out there for today is get your feet wet. Get your hands dirty. The only antidote to getting left behind is to be a part of it.